Okay, so the last lesson we were talking about negative numbers, and again, as, as I said, <clears throat> this is really just for your benefit. I'm kind of giving you guys a head start on what, what some of the things you're going to be dealing with in, in sixth grade are, and, and that will be, in, in a large part, you're going to come across some negative numbers. Um, we haven't done a whole lot of that in fifth grade, but we are now just the last few days of school. So um, the other day I gave you a lesson on adding negative numbers, just to recap really quick. If I was to um, uh, write 5 plus 2, you all know the answer to that is 7. But if I was to write 5 plus, and then I always put it in parentheses so it's not confusing. Okay, 5 plus a negative 2. I heard somebody say it would be 3. And the reason why we put parentheses around negative numbers is because if I didn't, it would look like this. 5 plus minus 2. It's like, what on earth is that? 5 plus minus? That makes no sense. Now, the exception to not really bothering with parentheses around negative numbers is when the negative number comes first. So if I was to put a negative 10 uh, plus 3, I, I wouldn't really bother putting that in parentheses. It came first. But if it comes second, um, it helps to make it uh, a little less confusing. So uh, what we dealt with last time was, was adding negative numbers. And, and I told you guys, and some of you asked me the other day, well, what's, what is it if you subtract a negative number or multiply a negative number or divide by a negative number? And I said there was different rules. Okay, Shh, you want to pay attention, Miss Noble. And there is a different rule when you subtract negative numbers. And let me give you an example here. Well, actually, before I even give you the example, let me say this. When you guys first starting, started learning mathematics, the first thing you were taught was addition. Okay? It would be something simple. 5 plus 2. Addition is always easier than subtraction. If I was to say um, um, 12 plus 5, most of you pretty quickly, I would imagine, you could just say, yeah, 17. But if I said 12 minus 5, uh, you got to kind of, some of you struggle a little bit. You have to think about it for a moment. Addition is always easier than subtraction. And so when you deal with negative numbers, it will really help if you just change it to addition. And here's what you do. If I wrote um, 5, let me just start with this, 5 minus 2, what's the answer? 3. three. What if I wrote 5 minus a negative 2? If 5 minus 2 is 3, what do you think 5 minus a negative 2 would be? So here's, I'm hearing all kinds of answers. Let me, this is what you do. When you subtract a negative number, you change it to addition, and you always change the sign of the number that follows. Let me say that again. When you subtract a negative number, you change the sign to addition, and you change the sign of the number that directly follows. So this is what it would look like. So the five stays the same. Now I have to change this sign to addition. So it becomes five plus, and then I have to change the sign of the negative number. So it's a negative two, what's it become? Two. Yeah, whoops.
um, a negative 2, the opposite of 2, or if I drop the sign, it becomes 2. Whoops. I'll get it right here. 2. And that equals 7. So 5 minus a negative 2 is 7. Let me give you another example. How about, um, how about 8 plus a negative 3? Okay, so I'm going to, the 8 stays the same. I change the sign to, whoops, whoops, my bad. Let me just do that over. Sorry. I meant to write 8 minus a negative 3. Okay, so again, I change the sign to addition and I change the sign of the number that follows. So this would be 8 plus 3. All right. So Miss Gage, how about this one? 9 minus a negative 2. Does the 9 stay the same? Yes. What happens to this sign right there? Becomes addition. What happens to this sign right there? I just drop it. I just change it. So instead of negative 2, it becomes 2. Okay? I'm going to put up three problems. You do these on the back side of your sheet. I want you guys to try these. A, um, let's see here. B. Do you also write the problem? I don't care. I just want the answers. Again, these are just practice. These are not the problems I'm assigning necessarily. Do those four problems. Mr. Oldham, we got to speak way up because the lawnmower is going on outside. What's the first one? Uh, you think it's 15? Okay. Let's see if he's right. So it stays, it's going to be 10. And I change this to addition. And I change the sign of the negative 5 and it becomes 5. And the answer is 15, just like you said. Nicely done. Put up 100 points. Mr. Hayes, number two, or letter B, rather. Uh, 20. What's that? 25? Okay, let's see if he's right. So 15 stays the same. I change it to addition. This doesn't, be, it doesn't stay a negative 10. It becomes a 10. And the answer is 25. Nicely done. Put up 100 points. Letter C, Mr. Camisa. 57, he says. Let's see if he's right. So it's 47. Change this to addition. Okay. And then, no, somebody, he's still up there. That's fine. All right. Um, 47 plus 10. And the answer is 57. Nicely done. All right. Letter D, put up 100 points. Letter D, Mr. Gisa. One oh what? One oh four. Let's see if she's right. So one oh two stays the same. This is no longer subtraction. We change it to addition, and this becomes two instead of a negative two. And the answer is one oh four. Nicely done. Questions on this, you guys? Hundred points. It is really easy. Okay. 
So write down these problems. This is going to be your, your homework and classwork for just a few minutes. What's that? How much is there? Have I written it down yet? So I have no idea. Probably. I would write down the questions if I were you, because some of you didn't and you got them wrong. And yes, since you know how to add negative numbers now, you'll have some like that. So it's a review of what we did a couple days ago. Okay, I'll let you guys write those down. 